The infrascanner's near-infrared light comes from a diode laser and reflects back to the silicon detector. It is essential that scans be performed in a manner that ensures constant and consistent scalp contact with both optical fibers simultaneously, and that hair does not interfere with the laser's signal. Make sure no hair is caught under the fiber tips of the shield, and that both tips are touching the scalp at all times during the measurement. Good clean contact with the scalp and firm yet gentle pressure are both critical to ensure an accurate reading and to avoid false positive readings. Always support the head of the patient with the opposite hand to ensure constant contact and patient comfort. If the patient is bedridden, ask a team member to help turn the patient slightly on their side to take the occipital measurements. The most effective way to make good contact with the scalp is to make a part in the hair at the desired measurement location and place the fiber optic tips in the area of exposed scalp using firm but gentle pressure. For more tips on successfully managing different hair types while using the InfraScanner, see the Managing Hair tutorial. One feature of the InfraScanner is the dual measurement buttons on the back of the device. This allows the user to flip the device to more easily measure the temporal and occipital locations. These areas can pose a challenge due to the shoulder and or the back muscles for athletic and larger patients. Pivot the unit to make ideal contact as needed.